Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now obviously you can see that the tablet in front of me is locked and to actually bypass this I would need to provide the pattern that was previously set or I would have to use the Google account that was previously logged in. Now assuming I don't know either of those, um, we can just bypass this. Now it's not going to be as simple as just saying bypass uh, because we're going to need a couple different things. Um, so most important part that we will need is another Samsung device. That can be a phone, a tablet, it doesn't really matter. It uh, does need to have a One UI, I believe, and just so it can uh, download the Smart Switch app. Now, the Smart Switch app will be a requirement here uh, on a Samsung, and the reason why we need Samsung is because that app is only accessible on those devices. And the reason why we need that app is because it allows us to basically transfer the Google account that you can log into the unlocked device and basically copy it over to here, overwriting the old account. That is basically the simplified version of this. Now, outside of the phone, we also will need a cable, uh, Type-C to Type-A, uh, probably, depending on the computer, so you can well, plug it into your computer. And then additionally, um, you can also use a Type-C to Type-C cable, as I have one right over here. As you, as you can see, both ends are the same. Uh, those cables usually come provided with the newer Samsung devices, so you can, there's a chance that you already have it. Uh, but if you don't, don't worry, that is actually not one of the requirements uh, for this process. Um, instead of the cable, you can use a Wi-Fi connection, which also I should mention Wi-Fi will be also one of the things that you need to have. Uh, so, now let's actually get started. So to get started, we're gonna jump over to the computer side and begin the process from as there, which I'll instruct you on the computer side what you need to do. So let's just jump over right to the, to the computer. Okay, so continuing the process now from the computer, there are several things that we'll need. Um, now, I would advise you just to simply start on your phone, connect to Wi-Fi uh, on your phone, and then leave it to the side. And uh, on the computer side, go to the link that is provided in the description. And it should take you right over here. So there's a couple things that you need from this site here. So you need the Samsung drivers, as you can see. That is so when you plug in your device, a computer will actually see it. And then Samsung by FRP bypass tool. You also need that for the actual process uh, of bypass. So once you have that, I um, already downloaded it and extracted it right over here. So let's run it. Now I have already done this. Oh, let me just close this. This is just some trash that opens up every time you actually open up uh, this application. So just close up your browser. Uh, ads are the cancer here. Uh, but yeah, so once you open it up and close the browser that it automatically opens, uh, what you want to do is start off by tapping on a disable driver signature. Uh, it will then pop you up with a message that you do need to reboot your device. So simply do so. Um, I already have done it, as you can see. Uh, once you, well, once your computer boots back up, you should see uh, that your Windows is in test mode. As you can see for me, test mode, Windows 10 Pro. So yeah, I am right now in uh, the test mode, which is what this program does. It basically boots your device or your computer to test mode. And from here, all you need to do is reopen the program again. And uh, let's plug in our phone. So it's just it's the satisfying click. There we go. And once it's plugged in, all you really need to do is make sure that you're connected to that Wi-Fi on your, com uh, on your phone and press Bypass FRP. Before start, you must connect your device to Wi-Fi. It's already connected, so that's redundant. And as you can see, it will start the process. And there we go, it's finished. So from here, uh, all you really need to do is, well, well, you're kind of done with the computer side, uh, almost. Uh, before I actually progress any further, I will just add this little info right here, so it's gonna be relevant later on. Uh, but at this moment, we're done with the computer side, so we can kind of, well, not use it anymore. Uh, but at one moment, throughout the bypass, on the phone side, we will need to replug it in, and once you replug it, just simply tap again the bypass FRP just to get the uh, the window uh, to pop up again on your phone, which basically is the necessary window that we need to actually 
uh, get access to things like uh, the web browser. So that being said, uh, let's now switch back to the overhead camera and continue the process from there. Okay, so from here you can see that we have the easy firmware pop-up um, and that's basically what we needed. Uh, now hopefully, unlike me, you didn't get a blue screen on your computer from this trash uh, software. Now, the software is kind of sketchy, but it does work as you can see. Now also, as you can see, if you touch anywhere else on the screen, it kind of makes it go away, which makes this super annoying. So. Uh, let's actually replug it, I guess, and wait for the computer to boot back up from the blue screen that it just had. So I can relaunch the program and get back the pop-up. So just, if you're watching this, skip like a minute or so, and we should be done back at it. So there we go, we got the pop-up back up and we can actually just progress again. Um, so I'm gonna start off by tapping on view just so I don't misclick anywhere and close this off. And from here, as you can see, it automatically opens up our web browser. Now also you can unplug the device just as, as I did. So from here, stop on accept and continue and no thanks. And right here in the search bar, you wanna type in hard reset that info slash bypass. There we go. So from here, once it actually loads up, let's uh, consent and uh, let's click on the Galaxy Store. This will link, well, link us to the actual Samsung website. And from here, if you scroll down, you should see the Try Now button. This will take us to the Galaxy Store. So from here, let's tap on Continue and Update. We do need to update our uh, Galaxy Store. And once it's done updating, it takes us back to the Samsung website. So again, click on the Try Now. And from here, choose the search option right over here. And you can see in the well, suggested options, Smart Switch Mobile, as you can see right over here. Then click on it. If you don't, then simply type it in. And from here, once it shows us the results, you can see it should be right at the top. So click on the download right here. This will download it and install it. Now, while this is downloading and installing, we can also get our other device, um, the unlocked one, that you will be using for this process, and also go to the store, the Galaxy Store, update it, and uh, we'll, well, download it. The same way you did it right here. It's gonna look the same. Once you try to launch it, it will bring up the pop-up to update it. Oops. To update it, and from there, again, download the Smart Switch once you search for it, and launch it. Now, I have already downloaded it, uh, so I, well, as you can see, I have it. Um, and also right here, it's also downloaded. So let's launch it, continue and allow. Okay, so also once you open it up, you will see a bunch of different options. So what you wanna do here is select that you want to receive data uh, on this tablet and you're gonna be receiving it from Galaxy Android. And you're gonna be doing it over cable, uh, assuming you're gonna be using a cable if you're not, if you're going to be going with the uh, Wi-Fi, then simply select Wi-Fi on both of the devices. Now, on this device, once you download the Smart Switch app, make sure in the settings that you do have an account added. So we can scroll down to Account and Backup, tap on Manage Accounts, and you should see one right over here. Now, if you don't see an account, then just simply tap on Add Account, choose Google or whatever, log in, and there we go. So you do need to have that account because otherwise uh, this process won't work. Uh, the reason why we need it is because we're gonna be moving it over. So from here, let's go into the Smart Switch app. Oh, there it is. And on this device, we're gonna select that we're gonna be sending data and we're gonna be sending it over a cable. And now let's get that cable. Assuming you haven't chosen the Wi-Fi route, you selected the Wi-Fi, then just go click on the Wi-Fi and go with the on-screen instructions. The reason why I'm using a cable it is because cable route is faster. Um, so connecting it, it uses the cable and everything works, I would say, flawlessly. 
Now from here, once you connect those two devices, as you can see, there's a pop-up automatically appearing. So let's tap on allow and here as well allow. And what this will do is the tablet will start reading all the data that is on the unlocked device. So give it a moment. And once it's finished, you should see all the things that we can copy from this phone to the tablet listed right here. Uh, so start off by actually clicking on the check mark right here and disabling all of them. Because all we really need is the accounts right over here, settings and home. So there we go. As you can see, there's only three different things selected, three selected, accounts, settings, home, screen. Scroll down, tap on transfer, and this will begin the process almost. So let me unlock it. Um, as you can see, once you try to transfer, it brings up this pop-up right here asking you if you want to copy your Google account. Obviously, we do want to copy it, so let's select that. And this will bring it up right over here. There we go. For us to actually log in with that account. Now I'm gonna obviously move it off the screen and log in. There we go. So once you log in, it automatically begins the process. Let me keep it, keep screen on, and there we go as well here. So now it's going to be transferring the three different things that we have selected. Uh, approximately a minute. I think it's a little bit quicker than a minute, so I'll just give it a couple seconds, and it should be finished. And there we go. As you can see, it's now finished. So let's cl click on close right here and go to home screen and simply unplug it because we don't need it anymore. So let's just, I'm gonna move that to the side and make the tablet be main focus right here. Okay, so once you click on go back to home, uh, home screen, it doesn't actually take us to the home screen. As you can see, it takes us back to the setup screen. So from here, uh, we're gonna skip through everything that we can on the home, on the, well, not the home, the setup screen. And that is because well, actually it doesn't really matter what we set up at this moment. Now also I'll point out right here, you can see that it gives us an information account added. And just to show you that, I'm gonna quickly go into the settings and where was it? account and backup, manage accounts. And you can see uh, the account right here is the same one that is right over here. So it basically moved this account over to the tablet. So all we need to do now is press on next. Now it's gonna pop up once more. So select on copy and there we go once more. So again, let's click on next. And let's finish up the setup right here as quick as we can. Okay, so as you can see, we are done with the setup. Once you actually see the icons, what you wanna do is go into the settings. So pull up and let's open up settings. Scroll down to general management, reset, factory data reset, and then select reset and delete all. Now what this will do is basically remove all the data from the device, including Google accounts, both of them. So the one that we have added along with the old one that was uh, on this device and actually still is. So this will go to the factory reset, unfortunately, which means that it will take several minutes for it to actually finish and will also bring us back to the setup screen. But basically once it's finished, we can then go through the setup as however you like. The device will be fully unlocked at that point. So I'll be back once the reset has been completed. And as you can see now the reset is finished, so uh, let's go through the quick setup of device. Yep, let me just quickly choose a region. And hopefully it won't matter, whatever. Oh no, it does matter. So on this device, we do need to, for some reason, select a region and that forces us to, well, restart the device. But this should be a well, little bit quicker than it is normally. Uh, so anyway, uh, that being said, while it's resetting, I'm going to mention that this device right now is fully unlocked. So you can basically add Google accounts if you wanted to and all that stuff and everything will work just fine as you would expect from an unlocked device. 
um, process is at this point completely finished. I just kind of want to go through the setup just to show you uh, that I don't need to do any extra steps. So, come on. so let's do that once more. So obviously uh, skipping Wi-Fi is one of the options that we can now do, uh, which isn't normally if the device is locked. And there we go. So that is how you can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.